And there you have it, holes, you know. Fortunately, it's brittle enough and old and it's pretty much tapped. But pretty much any time you see a guy with a shallow angle, you're gonna end up with a stump looking like that. And uh, seeing as it's dead and brittle, or if it was like pine or something like that, you probably wouldn't care so much. But if that's ash, you know, and had I left the center, <laughs> that would have been a mess. That would have gone right up the tree. So I think that's a demonstrable reason as to why the shallow angle face cut doesn't work for me. I just, you know, kind of been there, done that. So... And yeah, had I left the center, it would have been pretty bad. But, uh, but I'm gonna end up cutting off most of that that tapped area anyway, so it didn't matter to me. But I just wanted to show you. And what you'll see if you look at the slow mo is as soon as that hinge closes, the fulcrum is out at the edge, which is way over there. And since the uh, fibers are still relatively straight it gives them an opportunity to, to, to pull, where if it bends more, they've already, if they haven't broken, they're getting ready to break. So when the, when the uh, log finally closes up that face, it'll tend to continue the break, whatever had started as it was bending over versus pull, because it's no longer a linear uh, force up and down the fibers of the tree. So that's why you have the uh, more open you know face cuts had I had an even tighter face cut the poles would have been more even on this tree and like I said that's not a typical ash or healthy uh, maple where you have very very strong fibers even with that tree you get that amount of pull so Yeah, this is another quite large tree. Uh, it's got some burls in it, so I know it's compromised. Yet again, it's over mature. But uh, I'm gonna just lay it right down in there. <sighs> Big tree. So I'm not gonna monkey around with a face cut that's not strong enough. I'm gonna go back to something a little more open, you know.
Oh, I hope we got that. That was perfect. You notice that when you had the chance to have the hinge bend over, you know, far enough, it broke down but did not pull. And that's the graphic difference. I don't know how else to explain it to people other than to show it. But that is why I do what I do, is those two trees. You don't want to go. There it goes. Boy, that went perfect. Perfect. Now, I left a lot of hinge intentionally. And uh, I don't know if that's tapped. That's another one. But I got it right down between the two trees. A little thick of a hinge. But it tore down, not up, so I don't care. You know what I'm saying? 